there. We want to get you updated though on some breaking news that we're following this morning. It's from Detroit's west side. That is where police found two people shot to death inside of a home. The house is on Manor Street in the area of Plymouth and Myers Road. Nick Monticelli has been there on the scene and Nick certainly unnerving for anyone that lives in this neighborhood. Have police talked about a suspect or who they may be looking for? Well, so they have said they have a suspect in custody. That's as far as we know is along those lines. But I was just talking to a couple of family members and they have a working idea of what they think may have happened here. And I'll get to that in just a moment. But first, I want to show you what's happening here. So this uh, murder happened inside of that home there with the porch light on it across the street from where we're standing right now, as you mentioned, at the corner of Manor and Wadsworth, not far from 96 and Grand River on Detroit's west side. About 3.15 this morning, in fact, we can show you some video. The shooting happened, and when police were here, they found two adult men shot and killed inside of the home. And as I said, one suspect is in custody. Now, as I was mentioning, talking to a couple of family members who are standing on the other side of the street here, they said that the man who owns this home was renting it to somebody. And not that long ago, he had to evict that person for not paying rent. They're thinking it's a possibility, now just a possibility, that that person they were evicting may have come back here for retaliation and shot the people inside the home. But again, none of that is confirmed. That's just something the family is thinking about right now. We do know that several people are downtown at uh, police headquarters or at the, uh, at the district station talking to detectives and investigators. They are interviewing a lot of people, trying to put everything together. There are still detectives and homicide folks working inside of the home. The evidence technicians are still here as well. So a lot of moving pieces to this. We don't really have any concrete answers aside from the fact that two people have been killed and one person is in custody. I mentioned the working theory the family has, but again, that's just a working theory. It could be something completely different. Everyone in the area is just trying to get some kind of a idea of what's going on here. We're live here on the west side. Nick Bonacelli, Local 4 News today. Uh, Nick, did the family members share anything about the two men that passed away? Or, I mean, do they have kids? Or, are they leaving behind spouses, their ages, anything? Nothing like that. In fact, they're actually still trying to figure out who might have been inside the home. They don't even know who exactly is dead yet because the one mm. person who owns the home, they were saying they were able to get a hold of him, so they're not sure who's in there right now. Mm. Again, a lot of unanswered questions right now. All right, sounds that way. All right, Nick, thank you.